Today's quick video is about environmental change and how it affects plants. And what I'm referring to is when plants are moved from one lake location to another and they defoliate, it's generally due to being moved. It's not transplant shock. It's change of sunlight, change of water habits, uh, humidity. So I know it happens frequently with star fruit. You'll take the tree home, leaves yellow, everything drops, looks like it's dying. It's because of the climate change, environmental change. These here are sugar apples, atamoyas, and sour sops. These just came off the truck a few days ago. Now they were in a pitch black truck for three to four days and then they were in the carport unloading area you can see in the background there for another few days until we got them shifted over here so basically they've gone six to seven days without any direct sunlight these trees are three to four years old they've been raised in all day 365 day a year sun so they didn't know quite how to handle that so just as when trees go from a shaded location to a full sun location they can be damaged um, if you take them from full sun to complete zero sun blackout shade, it can have the same effect. Fortunately, it doesn't really damage the tree, it just kind of throws them into a little bit of shock. So you can see here the branches are still green and pliable. They've dropped their foliage. And that's normal. I don't panic. This happens frequently. Just keep them hydrated, get them out in the sun. If you have some seaweed on hand, some liquid seaweed, hit them with that. Um, next few days they're going to start budding out and putting on new growth. You can see the same thing over here with the jackfruits. Some larger atamoyas here. Fruit producing mature trees. They do the same thing as well. Jackfruits not as much as the anonas, but it's going to happen. Don't panic. Trees need sunlight just as much as they need some shade here in the summer. It's normal. Keep them hydrated. Give them some seaweed if you can and don't freak out.